Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to go through leveling the bed to the nozzle on this K1. Um, I've just bought this and the bed is fairly out of whack and the, um, the auto bed leveling is not compensating. As you can see here, the bed's well out of whack there. Um, I, I can only estimate it's one and a half mil, maybe two millimetres. So with the bed being that far out of whack, um, that translates into this sort of effect. So here you'll see I've used the smooth textured build plate, and it's nice and smooth there. It sort of gets worse the further away from the high point, um, because the auto bed levelling just wasn't compensating enough. And um, because I use textured build plates for some of the stuff I print, that um, texture or the piece that's touching the actual bed is ends up being the top piece of what I'm printing and so that's kind of important for me. So this is pretty much the same as what I did with my K1 Max. Um, the whole idea is we're going to loosen the belt and then turn the lead screws by hand to adjust the bed and then use the nozzle with a bit of paper to go around and sort of get the same level in the three points where the, um, the lead screws are. So you start off by you undo these two screws a bit here, so you can move this, and this will allow you to um, loosen the belts. Then we'll just, the whole idea is we're just going to get this in here, and then push that back. And that, that'll loosen the belts enough. So we'll start in here anyway. Now on my probe um, test, my highest point was down over near this lead screw. I'm just going to come to here and whack the paper in. And then I'm going to raise the bed just by moving the belt. Go easy with this because you have loosened it so you don't want it to slip. Just bring it up till you can feel it. This is just like leveling a normal printer so you can feel it. It's just holding it. Now the idea is to come up to this lead screw, just check that we are actually on the high point, but I probed it so I know that's where we're going to be. So we're pretty much good there, we're pretty much good there, it's just up the top here, which I could see on the, um, on the bed mesh that it was out, so I'm going to go roughly in that corner. Now I'm just going to use this, which is just a trim removal tool, and then bend that back. And now I'm going to turn this stepper by hand. Until I hear that click. So that skipped the tooth, just on that lead screw. So they're still a bit out, so I'll go for two clicks. That's the second click. Ooh. Still not touching, so I'll go for a third. There we go. So now we've got purchase, so we'll um, support down a bit. We get touch again, and now we'll test the three points again. Still a little bit behind there. Still a little bit loose. So I think if I go one more click. And that'll get me where I need to be. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty good. That one's close. Just, 
just on it. So it might be a little bit low here. So now I've done that, I obviously just want to pull on that a bit, give it a bit of tension, then tighten these screws back up just so this doesn't move. You don't have to over tighten these. And then that's tight again. So now I'm going to um, stand it back up and then run it through a bed mesh and see what it looks like. And if it's not quite right, I'll have to do this again until I get it you know, close enough. And we'll see what it looks like uh, once we've done that. Now I've done another mesh and as you can see it's a lot, um, lot more even. It doesn't have to be perfect because obviously auto bed leveling will take care of that. But that's heaps better than what it was before. So it's probably 0.2 millimeters out. Something like that by the looks of it. But yeah, that's heaps better. So that's how you um, level the bed to the nozzle if your bed's really far out of whack. Um, if your bed's already like this, uh, there's honestly no real reason to do it. You only need to do it if your bed is like really out of whack like mine was, and that was from factory. And so now my prints should look a lot better on the, um, on the bed. So I hope that helps you leveling if you have this issue. This is the second printer of the K1 Max um, was pretty much the same, and this is the K1, which is the same. So I'm probably just unlucky with dodgy beds, but that's how you fix it anyway.